I'm gonna steal Blake's intro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. We are here on Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 9, uh, the second episode of the Entertainment District. Last episode, it was a long one, uh, 46 minutes or so. About two episodes in one, buy one, get one free. And let me say, it was uh, it was a great decision. The episode didn't really <laughs> drag at all. It was action-packed, comedy-packed, uh, emotional, kind of feeding off of the end of the last arc with Rengoku's death. We got to see his little brother, Senju. Very touching moment between him and Tanjiro. We got to see his dad, which I believe uh, Igli wanted to talk more about his dad, so I'll let him get to that in a moment. But uh, aside from that, we got to see Muzan in his little kid form, uh, scheming most likely. We got to see probably Blake's favorite part of the episode and of Demon Slayer in general, which is hilarious because we, we had the end of the Mugen Train arc, which was absolute gas, but... <laughs> Uh, for him, because he was dying laughing, it was the the sword maker getting pissed and chasing Tanjiro, which I will admit it was hilarious. That was peak, bro. Rengoku died for nothing, bro. If the, <laughs> if, the, if the if Tanjiro getting chased around is peak for Blake. And then we bro. had the boys training and going out on some solo missions, which. Technically, Tanjiro is kind of cheating because he has Nezuko with him, so he's always uh, duoing. He's like me playing a Souls game or Elden Ring. I'm always summoning one of the boys to help <laughs> me out. They're my Nezuko. <laughs> or more like I'm their Nezuko. Um, and then we had the sound Hashira uh, doing some questionable stuff and taking our protagonist to a questionable area the entertainment district where uh demons uh they they do very sinful things they're cooking yeah they're cooking and i think that covers most if not all of the things from last episode just a little summary because we kind of got hit with a lot yeah. And now I will let you guys get into further detail, starting with Igly about uh, Rengoku's father. Mm. Yeah, so Rengoku's father is like a very bitter man. And like, he was talking about sun breathing. Um, and one of the other things he was talking about was like that people are like, basically, his outlook on the world is like people are born with talent. And like, it's not something that can be like, you, you can't become better. Or something like that. Something of like that no notion. And like. I I'm assuming. Um, based on their given ages. I want I want to assume that. Rengoku's dad knew. Ten, uh, knew of or knew. Personally knew Tanjiro's dad. At some point given like. I, I want to assume they're similar ages. And we also learned that like. His dad was a former Hashira. So I don't know what happened. Um. I want to assume like he wasn't always this way, but something poisoned his outlook. And given that, like he was talking about like how people, like people are born with talents. There was a moment of his life. Maybe he lost someone and like he stepped down as Hashira where he couldn't like, he was in, in, unable to beat a demon or something, which kind of led to this, uh, like led to this thought process. But I, I want to given like that how they kind of left it open with rengoku's brother he's going to try to find more about or find out what he can about um sun breathing i want to i'm hoping like that there's maybe more build up or like just more eventually like we see more of like rengoku's dad and potentially what he know what mm -hmm. he knows of um Reng of uh Tanjiro's father and we just learn more about his role or what he's done in the past but I just, it, it was something I was thinking about because I was wondering if they were going to go more into that because it seemed like a very big characterization moment for Rengoku when we saw his like past. And I was just really wondering uh, if they were going to build more on that, which they did last episode. Yeah. But and, um, that, that's, that's pretty much what I want to add. I kind of had a thought while you were talking about his father. Um, I know Senju said that he wasn't going to become the next flame Hashira. He was going to break the line because 
you know, he didn't feel like he'd be good at it or he wanted to do something else and help people. But, um, you know, whether he decides to or not, like, is it possible for Rengoku's dad to, like, come back, make a return as the flame mm. Hashira? Would, would something inspire him to do that? Maybe visions of his son, like we saw, uh, like the last moment we saw him, he kind of ran out of alcohol. Sake, I think yeah. that was, and he uh, he teared up, started crying. Mm -hmm. If so, his son's death doesn't inspire him, I don't know what will. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be a turnaround moment for him, so that, that could be cool. Yeah. It'd be cool. I don't know. We, I, we don't want to see him be like a cranky old man all the time. We we need someone yeah. to replace Rengoku that's like Rengoku. They're obviously not going to be the same, but I feel like he could be badass just like him. Yeah. I mean, he was handling knew... Tanjiro up until he used his signature move. <laughs> yeah, a double-edged sword. And, like, we did see that, like, flashback um, way back, like, in uh, this episode one of, like, this season with, like, where the, where the old lady had a flashback of um, uh, Rengoku's father. So there was a point in time where he was a capable warrior. He just doesn't have, like, that desire anymore you don't so have that dog be, in him anymore <laughs> so it could be cool if like if this is all a build-up for him to come back and basically pick up the mantle of uh flame hashira i don't know how the hashiras are like are decided mm -hmm. or how like how, how they get like um how they achieve that level of being recognized but it, it was also like a goal of tanjiro's now that he stated he wants to become a hashira yeah He's cooking. I feel like if uh, Tanjiro becomes a Hashira, he would be in his own special category, the Sun Hashira. Yeah. Which or maybe the, the Avatar. They, they, pretty much the same thing, honestly. Because they, they, the way they basically um, framed it is that sun, like the sun breathing was the original technique and everything else is basically an offshoot of it, which I don't know how you build up all the... Um, other breathing techniques from sun like for like the different elemental fire water um earth wind or i guess is wind sound in this case no i think there's oh, a wind no. hashira yeah there's a wind okay. hashira okay so everything is an offshoot of it so i don't know how if it's like a literal sense like i don't literally like i don't think all those concepts form sun but it could just be like i, I don't know i don't i don't know how it's broken down but yeah, Rengo, I, I see. I see Tanjiro becoming the Sun Hashira at some point once he masters Sun Breathing. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to watch. Yeah, thank you for letting me go on my little spiel. Yeah, I don't really have any but, but expansive of theories. Words. I pretty much gave his thoughts from last episode at the beginning. He was literally dying, and then after that, he never recovered. Mm -hmm. I. I'm also just stupid tired, so <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean to summarize my feelings, I do feel like the last oh five episodes or so have been easily the best of the bunch. Um, and I think you know, like you said, we got a two for one special there, and it was great. I, I couldn't see them doing the that intro into this arc any other way and i'm excited from what we saw and the little tidbits of the opening that i watched slash ending that we think is the opening that i watched <laughs> this should this should hit different and i i personally think uh tanjiro's dad might have been like one of the first demon slayers yeah that, well, that's well, the well, way I think they demon slayers it. have been on, around for a while because we were on the uh what 22nd or 23rd flame hashira so that's hey man, a lot of generations. Yeah. You'd think that's a lot of generations, but how long do you think Rengoku was the Flame Hashira? Three years? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe more? Well, it said sun breathing was the first um, breathing, like, was the first technique that was developed, but I don't think it's necessarily Rengo um, my bad, Tanjiro's, Tanjiro's, Tanjiro's father. father's technique that is passed down yeah. for generations. Mm-hmm. Who knows, man? So, That's just my I thought. Mean, unless, like, they're just dying, like, every every couple That's what of I'm years. thinking, bro. You know, a lot of people <laughs> in the show do get 
an illness and die, like not even dying in battle, but we saw Tanjiro's dad, uh, Rengoku's mother. Um, mm -hmm. there might've been someone else as well that I'm not thinking Tanjiro's of. Tanjiro's whole family. Well, <laughs> yeah. If you mis very mysterious illness there, who's on an illness? Yeah, <laughs> I mean he he does seem like he's yeah he's illness. pretty sick. Yeah, he he has a skin condition. <laughs> plug us. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, I'm gonna plug us. If you guys like our reactions, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the noti bell to stay up to date. Check the description for links to our Patreon. Get the full length reaction over there, as well as early access to Demon Slayer and select other series. We have links to our social media, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, and we have a Discord uh, completely free. You can come in there, talk to us about Demon Slayer, any other anime, uh, any other show, video games, uh, pizza, doesn't matter. Just, yeah, you can talk XFL. to us. XFL. XFL. Yeah. Don't talk about golf. We got enough golf conversation. Mm -hmm. I live in Augusta, so I hear enough about golf. <sighs> But I just dox myself. I don't care. Pull up. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's get into it. All right. You, Koku. He's innocent. Oh, so like entertainment means like red light district, like the p word. I'm a god, <laughs> bro. That needs to be turned into a gift. A, a gift right now. That needs to be turned into a gift. I know this is Doctor Stone. I am a god. <laughs> He's the uh, puppet master. That needs to be turned into a <laughs> gif, for sure. Cringeworthy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not wrong. So oh this guy's this guy's pretty eccentric as well. Infiltrating the entertainment districts. They're about to learn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's hard for Inosuke not to stand out. <laughs> yeah. But maybe that shit's normal here. Don't do it, Zenitsu. <laughs> this man's pretty much on daycare duty. Oh man. Oh no. This ain't gonna be good for him. Not the candy? <laughs> this man's gonna die. <laughs> it's like what, like 15, 16? Yeah, around that age. Okay. That's like the Hashira of prostitution. <laughs> oh my god. This is right. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's why we keep seeing three people in the opening. Yeah. Oh my god. Did he send his wives in to be prostitutes? Uh, that might be the case. Jesus, dude. <laughs> dude. New sword? I'm pretty sure he already has a sword. 
I guess that makes sense. He's uh, yeah, he used it. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. I'm just wondering what's in the box. Outfits. Okay. Okay, well. Oh, they're going undercover as girls. I don't think they're very convincing. Man's majestic. What is this arc? Uh, oh my god. Person no skate sneaking off to <laughs> You're stuck. It's like the mountains. Oh. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> Inoko. What a name. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> You know that thing right. you call Blake a lot, Igly? That's what's <laughs> happened in here. <laughs> oh man. It's an inside joke. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Yo. Okay. <laughs> he kind of cooked it. Oh my god. Damn. Man is getting dragged. <laughs> she not wrong. Oh um, <laughs> um, you know what that entails? <laughs> 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 I need to hear I need to watch the dub so I can hear Zach. <laughs> That's a girl. What's in the candy? Give <laughs> the candy back. How's he gonna play this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he can't lie. Cheese <laughs> It's probably better if he doesn't open his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to imagine him going incognito, though. What's going on in here? Someone's scheming. Oh, she did get captured. And she knows about the letters. Was Makio one of the names mentioned? I believe that's one of his wives. You saw her in the uh, yeah. flashback next to the tree. But the uh, the house Tanjiro was a, was in, like the wife was Suma, um, and I forget uh, the name that was mentioned in the one Inosuke was in. That I don't remember. You might need to rewind and try to. No. See if you can find that. Makio, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the one yeah. in Inosuke was that. Alright, so she got captured. The other two don't know. They're just unaccounted for. 
So, yeah, I, I don't know what to make of the start of this arc. It's it's a pretty pretty out there setting that they're going incognito. They're they're going undercover and um, basically, I don't know what what, what do we call them? Um, brothels. Brothels. Okay, brothels is a good word. I didn't want to just say prostitution houses. Um. So, yeah, and. One of the upper rank demons is hiding out here as one of the Oiron? Is that what they call them? Yeah, one yes. Them. Like, there's two things. I'm not sure exactly how they're pronounced. That word, I guess it's Oiron. And then yeah. uh, the sound, Hashira's name, Uzui? Uzui, yeah. Uzui, okay. Yeah. Just need a confirmation on that. Um... But yeah, definitely an upper rank demon there. Do you think it was the lips we just saw at the end interrogating? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think we might have actually saw her during the fight. Well, right before Akaza showed up, actually, when uh the uh they gave the dream us like boy. silhouettes. Yeah. Oh. Right when he was well, yeah, you're right. When he was explaining the upper rank demons, it showed us the silhouettes mm -hmm. of them. I think she might have been the one that was next to Akaza, but it, I mean, it could have been another one. So you think stronger or weaker? Stronger. Yeah. Okay. I want to say stronger. So you think too. she's like number two? I would say number two. It'd be crazy if they give us two and like three and two without even seeing like four and five. Yeah. I mean, I don't think any of them are to be trifled with because. Akaza, he, he's number three, and he was pretty much unkillable. I just, I feel like it would only be a natural progression to go up, but yeah. I guess at the same time, I could see the counter argument for it to go down to give like, Tanjiro's and the crew a killable a opponent. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. Akaza could, could have been like just basically it, they give him like they, they give us like the middle of the like road, and then like we. It, the fight wasn't it's not like t any of the main group were fighting him it was rengoku so yeah exactly what you're saying they give us one of the weaker ones um in the fight so i mean if if she's stronger that's gonna be crazy yeah but maybe uzui is stronger than rengoku just don't know what the power scaling is yeah i mean he has three wives so gotta be a pretty mm -hmm. strong guy right <laughs> God. I, I guess. A man's just built like that. He's flashy. Yeah. Definitely uh, an interesting episode and arc. Did not expect them to go <laughs> undercover like that. Yeah. That was hilarious. Like, I, I've been the type of person to bash on slower episodes. Mm -hmm. but I'm sorry that was just like it was like you'd think that that would that'd be the weirdest it could get at points in that episode and then all of a sudden it just get weirder I'm just I, wondering like mm -hmm. the where it goes from here like how they slowly begun to like cause it's it's definitely like setting up as like a little a mystery premise so I'm like wondering how soon like um one of the upper rank like their upper rank demon here like makes Self known, or once they find her, or if it's just going to be like slowly building of them trying to basically unravel the mystery of what happened to his wives mm. or how they go missing. If that's the case, part of me is also questioning like how, if the novelty of, um, of the like our, our three, like Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu going undercover and in brothels as girls is going to wear off, or like what they, <laughs> what they're going to do with that. If it, I don't, the setting is just, it's just wild. It's out there. It's, they're not, it's not they're the not first. pulling any punches. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like Inosuke would be the first one to get discovered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I he, 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 talk. Yeah. But he, he has a pretty face. So, yeah. That, that's, his I, I was low key. That's what I was thinking when they like caked him up. It's like, mm -hmm. why? I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah. can't 
and Osuke kind of just get away with it, considering that was yeah. like the first thing Zenitsu said when the mask came off. He's like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty, <laughs> such a pretty girl. And then Inosuke's like, ah. <laughs> so I feel like he could totally get away with it. Yeah. But. This yeah, was I'm fun. In, I'm going to see where they take it. I'm I'm so far. Season two is running laps around season one for me. Yeah. I mean, I think season one, like, it's not like it had to be slower. It's just there was a lot more buildup. Um, so it was very focused on pretty much just Tanjiro for a while. Like yeah. for the first half. I love but, that they've combined the group. Yeah. Um, the one thing I do wish they'd use more is uh, Nezuko. Yeah, what's ne- oh yeah? Well, I wonder what Nezuko's role in all this is gonna be. Um, Sleep. Sure. She'll come uh, out when she's yeah. needed. Yeah, but like I do agree. Like this show is is best when like the, when they utilize the full cast. Mm. They just play off each other in the perfect ways. Exactly. Yeah, and it's so much fun to just have that dynamic instead of Tanjiro talking to nobody. Yeah. And so even as much as I hate on Zenitsu, it's still just way better when they're all interacting with each other. Yeah. There's, they're designed to work together on their Mm -hmm. own. uh, I mean, on their own, they're all right. But when they're together, it's, it's a different story. The only one I'd actually really enjoy on their own is Inosuke. I didn't want it. Yeah, Inosuke, Inosuke would run is Inosuke can carry on his own for a while. So yeah. I, I I mean, I don't feel like there's really much to discuss after that episode. Yeah, there yeah. Other than yeah. what could come, and unfortunately we gotta stop tonight, but Yeah. I'm excited. Sorry, Corey, don't, don't don't get too bricked by me saying that, but I'm <laughs> I'm actually excited where this arc's gonna go because I'm engaged. Yeah. Um, I think this episode is really just trying to give us a setting for the entertainment district and kind of set up the problem we have to solve. And I don't know when shit's going to hit the fan, but when it does, I expect it to be absolutely insane because you got all those people there. Mm -hmm. If a fight ends up happening, then the stakes are going to be high, whereas Mm -hmm. The Mugen train, I mean, of course, like when they were actually on the train, you mm-hmm. know, the stakes were high. There were a lot of people that had to protect. But after that, when they were fighting Akaza, there wasn't really anything else besides Rengoku protecting the boys and Nezuko. Yeah. Um, this, there are a ton more people in this area. It should be, uh, should be some collateral. Which yeah. I wouldn't mind. I, I like this show when it gets darker. I know that's kind of like messed up to say, but it's a TV show. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's Demon Slayer. Anything to yeah. deal with demons is going to be naturally dark. So I mean, you think you think Uzui is like? I mean, he's a he's part of the Demon Slayer cores, but do you think he's going out the way like uh, to protect people? He's probably not holding back. No. Um, so I, give- I guess the opposite. I'm not sure if his focus is going to be on protecting people or killing demons. I know there's a few of the demon slayers who just hate demons, want to yeah. kill demons, and there are other ones who want to protect people. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, this kind of seems like it's his town. Like he, may, maybe I don't know. Man he, is he a would pimp. just be here for the mission. <laughs> yeah, three wives. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's pretty much. I think what we can all talk about at this point. We just yeah. gotta see more. Yeah, that that episode really set up episode, not very action packed. So Mm -hmm. uh, our next watch session, I expect a lot of those seeds that were planted to start sprouting. Mm. But yeah, that's all you guys had to add. Then I guess I'll wrap it up. We good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you guys like that reaction, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the noti bell if you want to stay up to date with the when we upload. Check the description for our Patreon and see the full length reaction to this. Get two week early access. We have links to our socials, links to a Discord. Come in there, join, talk about Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District arc, uh, how much you love the anime. Uh, And yeah, that is it. So we'll see you guys next time.
See ya.